Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, this is Tour Time with Tyler, and welcome to Midnight Ridge. Let's take a look at this model. Now this is the Plan 3. It's 2,745 square feet, it's a 4 bed, 2.5 bath, and it starts at $614,000. Now don't worry about that, that's the sales office right there with all the glass that will be converted back to the two car garage. Now I did speak with the sales associate and she let me know that on average in the models they put about $230,000 worth of options. The lot premiums range anywhere between zero and about $200,000 and the customers are putting in around $100,000 or so in up, uh, options and upgrades. One of the things I really like about this is you can actually pick out your paver design. Very neat. Let's come on into the courtyard area. As you can see it has a really nice even textured look throughout the home on the exterior for the uh, stucco. Really like how many windows are throughout this house. Tons and tons of natural light. And if you could do me a huge favor, if you could like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it really helps me out and I really enjoy making these videos. So coming into the front entrance, love, love the look this house has. Very open concept. Now as you can imagine, the beams, the glass, the floor, those are all options and upgrades. But before we go into the main living area, let's turn down here and come into what they call the super lounge. Now, let's come on in here. I'll let you know a little bit about this as we come in. But right here, you can see they added the wet bar. You get the sink, you get the mini fridge. They even did the backsplash all the way up with the tile. Really neat. Now right here, they added the barn door and I really like how modern it looks with the metal around the outside of it. Let's swing back around. Really nice large room. Now the neat thing about this house is right now as it sits it's a three bedroom but you could have it as a four bedroom you would lose a good portion of this room it would be right there in the corner. So if you need the four bedroom you could have it if you want to have this really neat awesome large super room you can option that way as well. Coming down the hall, we enter the first bathroom, the three-quarter bath. Really like how this is spec. Now, these cabinets will be the same as you get in the kitchen and all other bathrooms. Really like the quartz countertops they did. As you can see, it has the upgraded hardware. Love the modern look of it. Really nice with the fixtures and the untermounted sinks. Now, again, you can see very nice tile flooring coming into the toilet area and the three-quarter shower. They tiled it all the way up, really neat. You even have the hexagon-shaped inlay. Just everything about these houses is very, very tasteful. As we back up again, one last look at these cabinets. I really like how this whole house flows. Now, let's leave this and go into the first of the bedrooms. Now these are nice size bedrooms. They're probably about 11 by 11. Um, they're decent size. They're a little bit larger than the standard bedrooms most builders would build. But very nice. You get your two panel, two door sliding. And <laughs> love the, uh, the chandelier. You have the Frenchies. Really like how these houses are decorated. Now let's leave this bedroom and come on in to the second one. Again, very similar in size. Really nice actually how they are. It's really I really like how the fact that these bedrooms are completely opposite of the house of the uh, the master bedroom. So again, nice size. You have the two panel sliding closet. Just want to give you a full pan. Coming out into the hall again. And this will give you a good idea of how large this bonus lounge is. Again, you could have an extra bedroom in there. They added the mini bar area, the wet bar. Coming in right here is your powder room. As you can see, same type of cabinets. Again, they did the nicer sink. You have the toilet. And how cool is this? They even did pencil tile backsplash the entire wall. Let me know, would you do that? Put that down in the comments if you could. I, it's very different. 
As you can see, they did the straight corner edge and they even have the five inch baseboard. Coming back in to the entry area. Again, this house, the flow, it's really nice. It's very open, open concept. But let's take it over here first. And right here is your mudroom. This will be the area you come out of the garage, you take your shoes off, you don't have to track them through the house. Across from that is your laundry room. So you get your washer dryer and up above you can option up the cabinets. Again, they will match what's in the kitchen. Right here you have your folding area. And what's really neat is I'll show you later on about this door. It's a pretty cool trick right here. You also get some shelves for linens. Right here is another linen closet. And if we swing around, this is your two car garage. Now we're not gonna go in there just because right now it is set up as the sales office, but coming out into the main living area. Love, love the design in here. Now the ceilings are probably 12 to 13 feet. They're very, very tall. And how awesome is that kitchen? Just wanna be able to take it all in. So let's head over to this huge island. Again, most of this is option upgraded up. As you can see, they even did the two inch thick quartz countertop. They even did the trim around the entire island. Right here you have the four door fridge, freezer, flush fit into the cabinetry. Looks really nice. Right here is your little coffee espresso area. They even have the upgraded trim on the cabinets with the hardware, the extended cabinets, very nice. If we swing over, you can see the, uh, excuse me, you get the double mounted stove. Again, stainless steel appliances. Swinging around, you have your pantry. It's nice size. What you could always do is add another shelf or two up above. You have the space, you have five right now. And let's take a look at this island. I love being able to put the bar stools up against it, very nice. And if you look here, you can actually see they did a two-tone kitchen. They did gray and white on the counters and then on the island they did white and gray. Interesting. Would you want a kitchen like this with two-tone? Let me know. I really uh, love hearing everyone's input. So if we swing over, you get your five burner range right there in the middle of the island with this enormous floating hood. It's a pretty neat place. We swing back around. Again, they did the gray counters on this side. You get your undermounted sink, stainless steel, your stainless steel appliances, or excuse me, stainless steel fixtures. And how neat is this backsplash? They did the chevron look. Again, that is an option. If we swing back around, I will take you over to the dining area in just a minute. But how cool would it be just standing here cooking, just enjoying the view? Really, really nice. Now, as you can see, they have a six person dining set up right here you could easily extend that table out and make it larger you get the eight foot sliding door right here and if we swing back around into the living room right here we have the 12 foot door I really like the fact that there's so much glass on this wall they even added more glass up above again just so you can see how open this is very, very, very nice. Now, sometimes they let us out in the backyard. Let's take a look and see if we can go out. There's no pool. Doesn't look like they will. But just so you can also see out back, you are tucked right into the mountains right here. Very, very nice how there is a ton of privacy in this community. If we swing back around, let's go right on into the master. Right here, you have a linen closet. So there's quite a bit of storage throughout this house which makes it really really nice. Let's close that up and swing back around into the master. 
very, very nice. They have the vaulted ceilings. Makes it feel even more open. Very neat chandelier too. So as you can see, this room's pretty large. They even have the little lounge chair at the base of the bed. If we swing around, just to give everyone a full view of what this bedroom looks like. Now, as we come into the master bath, this is the super shower. What it could be, the standard, you'll get a separate tub, separate shower. You can also do this right here is for the toweling off area. It's also nice, you could turn on the water without stepping into the cold water. You get the rain shower head, you get the standard, sh uh, standard shower head, plus the bench. It's really neat. Across from that, we have our dual vanity sinks. Again, same cabinets as before, same countertops as the kitchen. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cabinets. I didn't do so in the kitchen. As you can see, these are very nice cabinets. They even have the dovetails right here. They're not cheap. Slide very nice, actually. And as you can see, they are the soft closing. And for the cabinet, it almost doesn't even want to close. It's so soft closing. As you can see right there, very, very high-end cabinetry. And if we swing back around, you get to your toilet area. Same flooring as before. But what's neat about this is this closet has a trick up its sleeve. So you can go in there, you can go in there. You can decide which way you want to separate the closet. But coming in, how amazing is this? It's already all been organized, divided, you get the shoe shelves for displaying, you get the hanging rods, very nice. But if we swing back around, you will see that this side of the closet, you can still pass through. So it's separate, but not entirely. Again, very nice, it's already all organized. Literally just come and put your clothes away. But one of the neatest features about this house is the fact that it has this door which leads right into the laundry room. So you don't have to drag the laundry all the way around through the house, through the kitchen to put your clothes away. And as you can see, we are right back to the main living area. Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. I really enjoy making these and I hope you are enjoying watching them. If you could do me a huge favor, if you could like, share and subscribe, it really helps me out. And if you'd like to see any new builds or resales, all of my info will be down in the description below. I'd love to help you in any way possible. Until then, thank you and stay safe.